What's up guys, Brad here with 94.3 The Point again at 94.3thepoint.com here at Health Fusion Wellness in Freehold. I'm back for my second session of cryotherapy. The first one was pretty intense. I'm hearing this one is gonna be even more so. I had a brutal workout last night and my muscles are really sore, so I'm really looking forward to this to help do the trick. So, Jason's here and he's gonna help me out. We're gonna jump on in for session two. And Here we go. So just remember chin up and then every 10, 15 seconds just rotate a little bit. You got it. So, uh, so Jason, last time we uh, hit temperatures of about negative 300 degrees. Now in session two, we're gonna get a little colder. Yep, negative, negative 20 degrees colder. So, so about negative 320. Yep. Is that about as cold as we get, or is there a colder session? There is another, there's a level 3 actually, which is another negative 20. So about negative 340 yep. is about as bottom as you get? Yep. Which is pretty intense. That's pretty intense. I can already feel the difference right now that it's a little colder than it was the first session. Definitely, there's a big time difference, difference between each level. About almost a minute in. A minute in. Are your hands and your feet good? My hands and feet are good. I'm wearing the gloves, keep my fingers uh, not warm, but just not freezing cold. <laughs> Good so far. Doing good. Yep. You are halfway through. Halfway home. And so, me like a lot of people, I'm sure, use this as a muscle recovery, which I am using it for since I had a pretty good workout yesterday. But after my first session. And after speaking with Dr. DeMarco, I realized you could really use it before a workout, too. Yeah, pre or post, and they don't really say there's like a specific... You can basically use it generally for everything. Yeah, like your post, post-surgical, you can use it for everything. People just use it just for energy. Right. Yep. That was, that was kind of a, a surprising benefit when I got out last time is I didn't feel like, you know, cold and I wanted to wrap myself in a blanket. I felt like <laughs> I wanted to go out and, you know. Yeah, it's really that feeling when you warm up. Right. Which really is why people do it. You have about 30 seconds left. Okay. It's, it's a lot more extreme than last time. It's still not unbearable, though. I wouldn't. Yeah, that's good. That's good, though. I don't think anyone should be afraid to come in here. Good. A lot of people are afraid. It can be intimidating, but... Yeah. Ten by the ten, ten by the All right. All right, so I just finished up session two and we got to the levels of negative 320 degrees. Definitely the coldest I've ever been in my life. Uh, felt a little more extreme than last time. That negative 20 degrees really makes a difference, um, but it still wasn't unbearable. I think the average person could definitely see benefits from this, and it's not very intimidating once you get in there. But I'm feeling great right now. Like I said, I use it as a post-workout recovery from a, a hard workout I had last night, and I'm actually gonna use it as a pre-workout today also, as I um, go into a yoga session right after this. So we're gonna see how I do, and I'm checking back in the session three.